Hello, my name is Andy and I'm a safety engineer. Welcome to this Omron Tech Talk. During this video, we will see how to avoid EDM startup errors on Sysmax safety systems. For this short demo, I will be using Sysmax Studio version 1.29.2. For a start, let's establish what an EDM error is. EDM stands for External Device Monitoring and is a function block used widely in programmable safety systems. It is used to dynamically check the status of a feedback signal in relation to an output. For example, often the input signal will be from a normally closed contact on a contactor or dump valve. The function block expects to see a logic one on EDM1 and EDM2 if the safety output is at logic zero. If I trip my system now with an emergency stop, you will see the result. So as the contactors come out, we expect to see EDM1 and EDM2 go to logic one. It is the inverse condition of the associated output. Upon startup, the outputs will be at zero. However, often the IO takes longer to establish itself on the network than the CPU takes to start running. This means that often we have a logic zero on EDM1 and EDM2 and a logic zero on the output. This is a fault condition for the EDM function block. The result of this can be a system that starts in error and needs the EDM blocks to be reset upon every startup. I will now show you a method on how to avoid this. Within Sysmax Studio, if you move to the IO map, you can see my various safety inputs here and all the slices. Under the status section, you will actually see we get a safety connection status variable that we can uh, associate. So we can type in a variable name here. I've used SINT, standard safety internal, unit two, comms. If I do this for every single piece slice of IO, if I go here as well, you see I've got it for everything and the outputs. So every IO slice, I actually give a variable name to the safety connection status. I then have a section of my program called comms where I take the status of all of my IO into an AND block, as you can see here. Use a timer just to add a 500 millisecond delay and then create a variable called, in my case, INT, SI, INT, comms established. Then, everywhere within my program, upon the activate signal for the various function block, I use SINT comms established. If I go to my output page, you will see it's here on the EDM blocks as well. The result of this is that none of the essential safety function block code will start to run until all the IO has reported back in that it's connected to the network and it's up and running. What this results in is a system that does not start in error that the safety functions and the safety code only start running and establishing themselves as running once the IO has reported back that everything's okay. So that's how to avoid EDM startup errors. Thank you very much for your time.